The nightclub and bar convention and trade show has been going on in some form or other for 28 years. But here we are in 2014, and the question is, will they eventually change the name from nightclub and bar to nightclub, day club, and bar? Because we have a lot of day clubs here in Las Vegas. This is a great show. It's a lot of fun along with being very interesting. They do serve liquor here in tiny little cups, so it's very difficult to get over-served. But one must be of drinking age to attend this show. So here we go, Nightclub and Bar, Convention and Trade Show 2014. I wasn't aware of it, but I am now, that the International Pizza Expo is also at the Las Vegas Convention Center, and the same folks who were at who are attending the bar and nightclub show will also come here. Not only for lunch, I imagine there are some samples available, but also because pizza is served in many bars and restaurants. For those of us who like Parmesan and red pepper on our pizza, here's a new item of Mama Francesca Parmesan and red pepper. I stopped at Cube Plastics because their sign was talking about reusables. And the gentleman here explained that they make carry-out containers that can be microwaved, uh, freezer, etc. They cost a little more than some of the kinds of containers we get now. He said from the smallest to the largest in the reusables, it's about 20 to 40 cents each. And uh, more and more outfits are using these, and that's good news for us consumers. I stopped here because I'm looking at something that seems totally modern. That's Innovate Marketing, and they have been in business since 2009 with online programs, and now for the last year they have come up with mobile apps. And here's what we should do. We have a favorite pizza parlor. We download their app. We can order over our phone. The pizza parlor folks can change their menu online just whenever they want. And if they're having a slow night, they can send an email that says, you know, sausage pizza, 20% off, this night only. Interesting, modern electronics comes to the pizza business. John Morell Food Group is here, that's Armor, Patrick Cudahy, Carlando Margarita, and you can see that folks are digging into the <laughs> samples here, and there are luscious looking things. They have a big sign over here that says bacon, and my goodness, here's some samples right here. Bacon bits, and more samples. Wow, this is a great show to attend at lunchtime. The sign says, Sweetie Drop, versatile vegetable, sweet taste, new, colorful, and flavorful topping, perfect for salads, pizzas, pastas, and desserts. And, my goodness, this is very pretty. Look at all the various selections here. walking by and taking a little from each one of these bins. And here this is risotto food and it looks like they have all kinds of shapes of doughs and things to use to make your pizza. A company called New Star 21 Inc. is here and they have a table full of spices. Michelle Obama was not manning this booth. It is a candymachines.com booth, Think Bending. And uh, bending appeals to me because my father was in the bending business, not with candy, but with coffee machines in the early days of coffee machines before Starbucks. So anyway, if your pizza parlor wants uh, some place for the kids to donate their allowance, candymachines.com. I'm here at a booth called Stella's Gourmet Family Style Pizza Cookie, and I was wondering what it was. 
Are you Stella? Yes. Oh, here she is. And I believe she sells frozen cookie dough, right? Not cookie dough, actually frozen baked cookies. Frozen we'll baked out. cookies. Mm -hmm. So they just thaw them. out? They, they actually take them from a frozen state, bake them, and serve them. Heat them and serve them, sorry. Heat them and serve them, okay. Can you show me, the, it's a shape of a pizza. Here she goes. It's in the shape of a pizza, and they use a uh, pizza cutter Pizza cutter to make little slivers like this. So if you're on a diet, but you just love chocolate chip cookies, you can have a little sliver. Or if you're a big eater, you can have the whole thing. And a pizza restaurant might like this because it's a pizza cookie. I don't know whether it's a pizza class, but it's got a lot of folks listening and even a sign language interpreter. We're in the central hall and this is the entrance to the nightclub and bar show. It is typically loud and crowded. thousand people will be attending this show and I think lots of them are here right now. Pretty little Sharon Gomez lives in Miami and she works for Apple Industries. Not, yes. not the Apple that we know, right? It's no, a, no, this is a different Apple. It's a different Apple and they yes. make photo booths. And this is Robert Smith and he's been telling me about nightclub security consultants. His company and I stopped because I saw the sign that said, we train bouncers. Well, the music stopped. Give me a few sentences about what you do and why you do it. Basically, just like the sign says, we train bouncers. In 98, when I started my company, I found there were no regulations, no rules. And bouncers were really just running amok, and the biggest guy was the guy you needed. We come in and we give them some rules, some regulations, some idea of why they should do the job better. And the bottom line is, everybody saves money. No one's arrested. No one goes to jail, no one gets hurt, and their insurance goes down, the police don't come around, and everybody wins. Training you're you're a former police officer, right? I retired right? last year, I did 20 years with San Diego PD, and that's when I created this program while I was still a police officer. And uh, do you have clients in Las Vegas? We do. We have probably a total of about 15 clients that we work with. Some of the insurance companies that have these clients have said, to get this lower insurance rate, you must take Robert's training. We have clients nationwide that they fall in that same same bill, where our training will lower their insurance sometimes by twenty and thirty thousand dollars. Wow, this is very impressive. Thank you very Thanks, much. Guys. Thank you. Venetian Collections stops traffic with these oversized pieces of stemware. Well, if you've always wanted to be a star, <laughs> All Star Karaoke is for you. Say one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Touching wall. Little Elvis so, in there too. <laughs> reaching out, touching me, but I'm touching you. Are we sure we're not on the strip? This is the Federation of Beer, and the costume characters are are here, and folks are lining up for real beer.
Roma branding worked for women, now I suppose it is supposed to work for restaurants and bars. Walk into the place and it smells delicious. They're not called t-shirts, they're called bar rags. This Vegas sign has been co-opted to talk about fabulous ultimate bars and this is one of them. It's purple lights and mirrored. You can see the bottom of my torso in the mirror here. I took a sample of a Bloody Mary and it about blew my hair off, but I like hot stuff, so the small sample was plenty. I don't know what the front of him or her looks like. It must be a him. And uh, somebody's taking a picture, so I'll move around here. <laughs> <laughs> Characters in a pink. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Good. You're attracting attention. There they are, posing. Uncle Sam should sue. We are beer pong. I don't know whether the gentleman is doing very well. Lots of ping pong balls on the floor. This is a bartender competition. Three quarters of an ounce of Aperol Aperitivo. It's called Shake It Up. Blackberry Ginger Shrub. And a third of an ounce of lime juice and a little bit of dry sparkling brutes. Competitor number 14 with a cocktail called The Great Exchange with one ounce of wild chicken, 101 bourbon, half ounce of gill and chartreuse, a quarter ounce of pudding palm, three quarters of an ounce of blackberry honey, quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice, some fresh egg whites, and a nice little spritz of Angus Sterling. Bitters. Pretty complicated. In this aisle, we have revolver electronic cigarettes and chairs for your bar and free massages over here. And uh, like some kind of lighting for your nightclub in the distance. Cesar Chavez has tequila and he has a picture on the front of the bottle. And here we go. Here's your friendly DJ. So this looks like the Fantasia Hookah Lounge. Actually with uh, some of the hookah pipes. And folks smoking. GLIC, I guess that's the name of the company, I'm not sure. And uh, wild background. I think these outfits belong in the adult entertainment show. Wow. Never seen quite anything like them. A lot of souvenir pictures. I read in the paper today an article that was an interview with John Tapper, who is the CEO of this show and also the man who stars in the program Bar Rescue. He was saying that he thought that the nightclub craze would uh, wear itself out soon and he was more in favor of relaxing distinctive bars. Well, the nightclub lighting is here and if it bothers you, you may agree with Mr. Taffer. You can light the inside or outside of your bar or restaurant. Excess is a nightclub at the Wynn, and their um, featured uh, celebrity here is Little John. He says, turn down the what? That's
I'm listening to the gentleman next to me being interviewed, and he says that the targets here uh, that you use in urinals, you can, for $9.95, subscribe, and if you have two urinals, two new targets will arrive every month. I'm not sure I understand the name, but it's called Alcohoot, and it is a smartphone breathalyzer. For those who need this, the gentleman's microphone is so loud, but I stopped at this booth, automated wireless light system, and there's a subhead that says 50,000 hours. Okay, explain to me, how can you have lights like this? They're the smartest LED bulbs in the world, on remote control, any specific color you want. Perfect for your woman cave, great for your man cave as well too. Any occasions like Valentine's Day, St. Patty's Day. Now we have a, the middle button there, a menu mode button. It's going to scroll through all the colors for you slowly and lightly. There's a white light strobe, there's a color click strobe, there's a color disco strobe, a multi-bulb strobe. Now you can get this thing doing whatever you want. I'm about to run out the door because my ride is due. This is one fun trade show to attend. I hope the video, well look who's here. <laughs> I hope the videos show how much fun it is for everybody, but it really is a business to business show. See you next year.